Hello, friends. I have some good news and bad news. Let's start with the bad. Putin has indeed decided to rule forever. And the good? His preparations for a lifetime of rule are so brazen and defiant, there is still a chance that Russians will cease to tolerate it one day. What do you consider to be ostentatious luxury for a public servant? Maybe an expensive car? High-priced real estate? A private jet? Especially when a state company manager writes my oil on it. How about an ocean-going yacht? That's right, it's disgusting when officials of a poor country lead the lives of billionaires. But what would you say if a civil servant were to build his own hockey arena, private hospital, and personal bridge over a river at our expense? As you might have guessed, we're talking about Putin. Why did I start this video by stating that Putin is going to rule for life? Very simple. If a person starts building a stadium, a hospital, and a bridge near the presidential residence, they aren't planning to leave their post anytime soon. Putin is clearly digging in for the long run at the presidential residence. The plan is apparent. If everything goes well for him, then a hockey arena will come in handy. If not, then his very own personal hospital will help. These types of buildings aren't built overnight and are intended for decades of use. Therefore, Putin is not going to leave in 2024. So what about elections? He already knows the result. It's also disgusting that multi-billion dollar construction is taking place in a poor country going through difficult times to satisfy the whims of one man. The death toll from COVID in Russia is already over 150,000. At this point, do we really have to build a private hospital for one person? Is there nothing more to spend money on in healthcare? Consider a private hockey arena. It's an extravagant whim, not a national obligation. Is that how we should be allocating budgetary spending while three-quarters of Russian families are experiencing financial difficulties? I've been talking for three minutes now, and you probably still don't know what hospital, stadium, and bridge I'm referring to. MBK Media journalists discovered this large-scale construction site near Putin's principal residence in Nova Ogorova. Nova Ogorova is a suburb of Moscow, where the president of Russia resides. Nova Ogorova is located on the 10th kilometer of the prestigious and expensive roblova uspenskaya Highway. The price of 1,000 square feet of land surrounded by pine trees on the bank of the Moscow River can cost up to $70,000. And even if you've got the money, you can't buy the best real estate there. It belongs to the Russian Federation and is in permanent use by the FSO, the Federal Security Service. And it is in this very place that a large-scale construction project was recently launched. Journalists visited the site for the first time in January 2021, but according to locals, construction has been underway since August 2020. They're building a bridge. You can see it in the photo. The bridge is solid. According to experts, the cost of such a bridge starts at $2.7 million. Who's going to use this bridge? Let's look at what's on either side. Here's a map of the area. The bridge is right here. The bridge starts on the southern bank, at Putin's residence, and where a construction project is currently underway on Federal Security Service land. There's another construction site on the north bank, also situated on FSO land. The FSO is also managing the building project. Here's a document from their correspondence with local residents. According to an expert, the facilities under construction on the river's north bank may end up being a terminal, parking lot, or even a helipad for sporting activities. So we have a bridge with Putin's residence at one end and either a terminal or a sporting helipad being built on FSO land at the other end. The bridge is intended for the use by the occupant of Nova Ogorova. Nobody else lives there. And it costs $2.7 million. Well, maybe we don't have anywhere to spend 2.7 million. Is there too much money in the budget? If so, why do children need to file a claim with the European Court of Human Rights to get expensive treatment? Do we really need a bridge for one person? Speaking of money, did you notice that the cost of the bridge I quoted came from experts? 
It's not because journalists were too lazy to look for contracts on the government procurement website. It's because there are no such contracts for the project site. All the land there belongs to the FSO. They're also in charge of construction, and it's impossible to find contracts or tenders. I mean, you can see the construction site, but according to the documents, it doesn't exist. Although the documents should be available, of course the FSO can make secret purchases if they constitute a state secret and ensure the safety of persons subject to state protection. But it's a bridge, not Putin's suit with built-in body armor. Why keep the cost of building a bridge a secret? The answer is simple, so that we don't know how much the modest and unassuming Vladimir Putin is costing us. In fact, there is something to hide here. Besides the bridge, major construction is underway on the southern bank, near Putin's residence. First, this project is many times more expensive. Second, it is undoubtedly intended for Putin's private use. How do we know it's exclusively for Putin? Well, it's obvious. The land being used belongs to the FSO. Construction is in the immediate vicinity of Putin's primary residence. According to the engineers involved in the project, one of the facilities is an ice rink, as seen here in the photo. The other is a treatment and wellness complex with state-of-the-art technology, giant chambers and medical offices. The hospital and hockey arena will be connected to Nova Ogorova by an underground tunnel. Here's a photo of the split ventilation systems for the underground floors. The question is, who else but Putin can construct a building on that scale in a place like this. After all, the sports center is 323,000 square feet in size, and the hospital 172,000. Who else among the residents of the Novo Ogorova presidential dacha loves to play hockey that much? Who else is going to occupy that residence until the age where he might be in immediate need of a hospital? <coughs> <coughs> and, most importantly, who has the audacity to spend such a massive amount of government money on themselves? The estimated cost of the entire project ranges from 277 to 700 million dollars. So much is at the whim of one person. Why call it a whim? It only takes half an hour to get to the Krylia Sovietov hockey stadium, the closest one to Nova Ogorova. It's even faster by motorcade, but that is insufficient for this modest civil servant. Too long and uncomfortable. It's better to build it nearby with an underground tunnel. So what if the cost of that small construction site near one of Putin's residents has a value comparable to the amount that the government planned to make by increasing taxes on business? He's not opening his own wallet, it's public funds. Or, as another example, the construction of a 172,000 square foot personal hospital when the country's best medical center, the Central Clinical Hospital for the Presidential Administration, is located in Krylatskaya, half an hour by car from Nova Ogorova. Why spend hundreds of millions of dollars constructing Constructing a personal hospital near Putin's residence, if one already exists within reach. And more importantly, isn't it shameful to spend public money on your health when people are willing to self-immolate just to get their relatives treated? Of course, one can argue that there is no direct evidence that it's privately Putin's that it's his own personal hospital and hockey arena. They could be building a bridge so that nearby state farm workers can make it to the expensive restaurants in Rublyovka more conveniently. It's all a coincidence, and any beneficiary can build on FSO land. It's pointless to apply high court requirements of proof on gangsters who have taken over the state. You can't find documents if they haven't been processed. It's impossible to prove anything legally if there is no legal system. It doesn't make sense. Putin has been caught in lies, corruption and crimes so many times that it is now incumbent on him to provide the proof. Here we have evidence that a million-dollar bridge, sports and healthcare center are being built on FSO land in the immediate vicinity of the presidential dacha. If this is not the cynical fulfillment of a czar's personal whims, it's quite elementary to prove it. Allow independent journalists into the facility tomorrow. Present all the project documentation, disclose the sources of funding, showcase it to the citizens for whom this wealth was intended, and all will become clear. But until that day comes, the most plausible explanation is that $700 million has been spent on a bridge private arena, and personal hospital for Putin in a country suffering from poverty and an epidemic crisis. Thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to be alerted when my new videos are released. Be well!